It's Xavier Porter coming to you live direct. The Barclays Center, BrooklynFights.com. I'm sitting here with one, none other than Mike Yes indeed Reed. Wanna get his thoughts, take a place what's going on in his career. He just came off a fantastic victory at the Bethlehem, correct? Uh no, 2300 Arena. Okay. So Mike, what's going on? Tell us what's going on, man. Not much, man. Just out here, you know, came out for the day. I'll be back home tomorrow. We should have a fight day coming soon. Okay. So how was your fight? What you you know, what did you expect? what did you think of the fight? I thought it was a good fight. Um it's kinda hard to look good against guys that just really don't wanna engage. Um, he wanna engage, but I thought it was a real good fight, you know, kinda broke him down. Okay. But six. Didn't really like going six, you know. Want everything between eight and ten now. Yeah, so you stepping up from six rounds to eight rounds. Well, you know, I have always fought eight rounds. I've been fighting eight rounds for the last maybe two wow. years, you know. Yeah. Um the six round thing was kind of the last minute only because I couldn't fight in New York, you know, the whole thing about, not, about him not getting cleared. So they kind of just threw me on a car, so just, just stay busy. Okay. So, um, have they decided on your next opponent, or have anybody, they brought anybody to, nope, you know? No, we're just basically going through the motion right now. You know, we haven't even had, had our next date, but we're here. It might be um, sometime early to mid June. Okay. So what do you want your fans to, you know, when they think about Yes and D Reed, what you want your fans to be thinking about? Yes and D think about excitement, man. Yeah. You know, I come every time I fight, I give it up, I give it my all in the ring. And you know, also I want them to think, you know, the good guy. Um, really try to keep my nose clean outside the ring, inside the ring, I'm a monster, outside the ring, you know I'm just like anybody else. Okay. So what brings you to the, what brings you to New York today? Well, actually I'm here for the Jordan Brand Classic, you know. Me and my team, we thought it would be a real good idea if we came to network out here. So that's kind of like what we're doing right now, just get my name out there and kind of network. You've been looking good at all your fights, and um, how soon do you think you might get a title shot? Um, This time next year. I think this time next year, I'll be right on the cusp of the title shot. Especially with Adrian Brown and Chanel vacating the title at 140. Yeah. I think that's kind of like a title I would want to grab. But right now I gotta focus on what's next for me. What's next for me is like I said, sometime early June. Yeah. Maybe a ten round and get my name out there a little bit. Okay, so we're looking at a couple more fights before the title shot. Yeah, probably four or five. Okay. So name some of the locations you fought at. Actually, you know, we we here in New York, fought in New York, um, fought in New Jersey, and fought in Vegas twice. Atlantic City, DC can't forget about my home. Fought in Maryland a couple times as well. I think out of all of them, I love fighting at home. I love fighting at home, and I love fighting at um, Vegas as well. Because when I fought in Vegas, it was kind of like a big show. It was, it was, it was um, Timothy Bradley Brandon Wheels. Yeah. The, first time, the second time was Timothy Bradley Brandon Wheels. The first time with True TV, with Austin Valdez, for, um, I forgot his name. But it was, it was you know, a big show at the uh, Chelsea. I love Vegas, and I love home as well. I, New York, New York treat me well as well. Okay. So, yes, indeed, has no problem fighting anywhere. Put me in somebody's backyard, yes, indeed, don't care. All, <laughs> I, all I need is a ring. All I need is a ring, man. Okay, okay. Again, this is Yes, indeed. Mike Green sitting here with me, Xavier Porter, BrooklynFights.com. Get ready to check out the Jordan Classic. Make sure y'all keep your eyes on Mike. I'm becoming young, uh, super, super lightweight, junior welterweight at 140. Uh, hopefully, you get a chance to get, get a shot at that uh, WBA belt. We're going we're gonna to keep an eye on Mike and continue to support Mike, all right? See you soon, Mike. That's indeed.